Hey, hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit Blitz. Now this is a bit of a different video. This is get to know the basics, use your brain. So I'm going to show you two replays. This first one, Chieftain Mark VI here on Middleburg. Now we've all started to go up, but I noticed that there was an E50M down, which means they're down. So why bother going up? Get into a nice position. Now the Chieftain Mark VI does have some pretty good gun depression and it is a haul down tank. So if you know your positions on the map, you can put this in a nice little spot and you can do stuff like that. So I've already dished out a little bit of damage and we can see that almost their entire team is there. No point hitting the E100, so let's go for the M103. He's in the open and his turret was turned. This is what you need to start to learn to do, guys. There is no point rushing around the map when you can kind of guess where the enemy is going to be. You also need to understand your tank. Know how your tank works. Is it hauled down? Does it have gun depression? Has it got the ability to do the things that I'm doing now? If it has, then use the terrain to your advantage. I'm going to bully this 103 here. Okay, I'm going to take a couple of shots, but it doesn't really matter because I've got quite a decent amount of HP. That's going to allow me to get rid of the 103. And hopefully, if I can reload in time, I can take out the E50M also. He's now a one-shot. But I also now see the Camp 70 in the open. So why bother with the 50? Stay in cover. Take out the Camp 70. Easy peasy. And this is what you should be looking at doing, guys. Pick the easy targets. Don't try and go for the impossible shots, the tricky shots. Don't try and go for, you know, the big things. Try and go for the things that, at the end of the day, are going to be easy. Getting guns out of the game whilst you maintain all your hit points. Well, as General Patton famously once said, nobody ever won a war by dying for his country. You win a war by making the other poor bastard die for his. That's no different in this game. You won't win the game by dying for your team. You'll win the game by making the other poor bastard die for his team. This is now me in an E3. We're on vineyards and again, the basics, guys. It's all about positioning, knowing your tank, knowing your role, and trying to anticipate what the other side are going to do. Now, I can see there that we can kind of see that their TDs are on the right. There's the 183, we've got the Waffle Tractor, and we also have the FV. They've got a heavy tank in the middle, a heavy tank just off the middle, and some other tanks going into the city. So I know I'm relatively safe going over here. I'm gonna give the Waffle Tractor a bit of a smack because he's stuck out. He has got the spore liner, so that allows him to reduce that impact. But it doesn't matter, he's gone. Now we've got the um, the FV2 uh, the 215B pushing. He's a little bit aggressive. I'm not interested in him at this moment in time. I know that the 183 Death Star is overexposed. So I'm allowed to put a big roll into him. Now I am in an E3. This tank is absolutely rock solid frontally. So I know I can load my gun. I know I can wait for the aim time to go down. I can smack him and I'm gonna bounce him. I bounce him for over 900. That's because this tank frontally is big and I've got the hull protected. He's now gone. There's the 215B again. He's again being aggressive. Can I get anything on the VK? No, I can't. So I'm gonna pull back and I'm gonna wait for them to make their mistake. I can see that the E5 is looking to help the 215B. At this moment in time, they are pretty much contained. I'm getting a little bit concerned because we're starting to lose tanks, but I'm not overly concerned. It's pretty even Stevens at the moment. E5, now in the open, overly exposed, side on, to an E3. I'm going to take a hit from the 215B, but it's not a problem. Bounce the E5. The E5 is now a one-shot. I mean, he is absolutely deaded. He's gone. He's out of there. 215B is now pushed aggressively up. He is trying to take out our Earth TD. Now, he's faster than me. He's more mobile than me. I've got to try and put something into it. I put a side shot in. I'm worried about their TD and their VK because they can get shots into the side of me. So I'm going to try and get down. I'm going to try and help out 
my uh, my Vickers here. Now the Vickers has got more mobility than me, and the 215B is chasing him. I, I can't chase him round the rock. Now he's overexposed. Take him down. Three against two. This therefore should be a pretty easy win. However, we got a VK72 and we've got an FV4005. So I've still got to be careful. I know that they're in the city. I need to make sure that I can keep my tank frontally positioned towards them, trying to protect my hull. I don't have the best gun depression, but I'm going to have enough to smack him, and I do, nice roll. We've now done over 4,000, we've bounced 1,300, we've only taken one kill. We've now lost another tank. I've got plenty of hit points. VK's gone behind a rock. I can't take the shot on him at the moment. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm worried about my bottom plate here. We've still got a Vickers. I'm able to get a good shot into the VK. The Vickers also gets a good shot in. Vickers is now down. It's now two on one. They've got an FV. He's going to put a roll into me, even though I'm not loaded yet, so I can't do anything with him. I'm going to back away. I want the FV to take me on. The VK at the moment is loading. And he also knows that he can't take me on. I've just reset my camo. Here comes the FV. Take him down, leaving me with just the VK. Now, this is the position I wanted to be in because the FV has got three clips or three shots in his clip. The VK doesn't. Not only that, I know if I can push onto the VK, although he is bowing a rock at the moment, I can face hug him and he's going to find it difficult to pen me. So, he overexpends, breaks his track. I drop the adrenaline. I push down. Face hug him. Now I know he cannot destroy me. He bounces that shot. All I've got to do is put one into his front, load the APCR because I've run out of AP, and voila, he is gone. So guys, use your heads. Don't try to do things that are impossible. Just play it nicely, gently. Know the train, know the tank, know the map. Pick the easy targets, whittle them down, and you'll win. Simple, really. Anyway, I've been Fujit. By all means, comment, like, and everything below. If you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. Until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.